Here is Joe Biden today at the National Convention of the Rabbinical Assembly in Atlanta. I want you to listen to this jerk. Cut five, go. But when we took office, let me remind you, there was virtually no international pressure on Iran. We were the problem. We were diplomatically isolated in the world, in the region, in Europe. The international pressure on Iran was stuck in neutral. First of all, this is a lie. It's a flat-out lie. I remember all the efforts for international pressure on Iran. They haven't worked, and they haven't worked under this president either. But that's a secondary point, even though it's an important point. It's a secondary point to this audio. Let me remind you, this guy is arrogant. And arrogant and stupid, that's a bad combination. And yet that is the perfect definition of Joe Biden. Arrogant and stupid. Let me remind you, there was no, virtually no international pressure on Iran. Liar. We were the problem. See, folks... We, America, we are the problem. We're always the problem when it comes to morons like this. Not Iran, not the Soviet Union, not Red China, not all the other countries defending Iran or using their uh, diplomatic uh, processes at the UN to screw us and obstruct us. No, we're the problem. This is a vice president of the United States. This administration has a horrific record in the Middle East. It's a disaster. Touting Hillary Clinton as a presidential candidate in 2016. You kidding me? She's been an awful Secretary of State. Where have we been able to advance America's interests under this administration? Can you name one country? One region? Not even in our own hemisphere. All the progress Reagan made to spread democracy in our own hemisphere being destroyed right before our eyes. What does Obama do? Not a damn thing. The Middle East. We're running out of allies in the Middle East, aren't we? So we made new ones like the Muslim Brotherhood, our new friends, who would love to slit our throats. And we treat our old friend Israel like crap under this president and this moron Biden. Jordan's hanging by a thread. Syria. What's Obama doing? Nothing. And I'm not saying we should intervene militarily. And what's going to happen in Afghanistan? You know my fear in Afghanistan to be... Very serious about this. And I hope I'm wrong. I pray I am wrong. But do you remember what happened when we left South Vietnam? All those people who worked with us, all those people who fought next to us, all those people who relied on us. You remember the closing days and hours? Many of you are too young to remember them, but maybe you've seen video of it. It was heart-wrenching. So many people were killed, executed, tortured. So many people who wanted to leave couldn't leave. Particularly those who were closest with us. What do you think the Taliban's going to do? You think they're going to sit back while Obama's offering to negotiate with them? Do you think they're gonna they're gonna show a revenge? Do you think that government can stand up on its own? It could be an absolute nightmare, a humanitarian nightmare. It really could be. With our closest friends in that country being the ones who are punished the most. What will happen to the women and the the little girls there? Will they go back to being treated like stray dogs? 
anybody care? Anybody talk about it? I said several months ago, this so-called war on women, the war on women, women, that occurs in the Middle East. That occurs in places like Afghanistan. Not in America. There's no war on women, crying out loud. 